Okay, hello. We welcome back. Uh, we took a brief, thirty-minute break to uh, take care of a few things, uh, but we're gonna get right back into the action now. Who wants to go first? Because I believe our barbarian needed to do something at the beginning, but forgot to. Yes, hey, you forgot to. Um, basically, I need to tell you all a little bit about my civilization at the beginning of each session. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna tell you so far is that I actually come from a very advanced race. Um, that went extinct about 2,500 years ago. There are very few of us left now. Um, we have a very high sense of that we're better than everyone else, but we also understand that we need to look after other creatures. Alright. All right. Uh, cool. roll, me, roll me a D1000 and mark down one experience for that. I think you did experience too. Alright, let's see. Because one of my bonds was to uh, learn about the Celestial. <laughs> if you, all right, then yes, you do gain experience at the end of the session. <laughs> and you can no longer do that. <laughs> what was the D1000 for? Uh, okay. Mm, roughly 3,000 years ago, before whatever happened to your, your, uh, to your tribe, um... You began hearing weird indications that something was going on. Mm -hmm. uh, something involving some of the uh, lower class of your society, and that certain individuals were just disappearing. Something was going on. You didn't really, even to today, you don't tell people about it, and you avoid letting people know. Okay. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. So, next time you do this, I want you to answer what that was. So okay. what was this thing that you've been like, neglecting? Things that you've been hiding away from everyone? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. you're gonna have to write that down and next time I'll probably do this before you tell your story to uh, let you incorporate that in. Should I put it as the GM notes? So... Yeah, you can if you want. I can't actually click it to do anything with it. What you should be doing is open your character sheet, hit edit, yeah. and then put it into your bio. Um, including oh, no, the stuff you already said. Got it? Yep. Okay. So there's no turnover to fall back to. So let's start with Eyebolt. And then we'll hop over to Kane to see what he's doing right now. Okay. Uh, well, I'm more or less calling to see... Uh, I'll call Tain to see what's going on. And... <laughs> okay. One of you needs to make an in check, intelligence check to make sure you don't manage to break your phone or something else silly. You and me are fine. It really doesn't matter. I'll do it. Okay. I do. Okay. I have a. My phone is not exploded. <laughs> you make the call. You're standing in the middle of public. Uh, go ahead. You t you were able to contact Tan. Right. So, Tan. Yeah. Boy, or. I direct him to where the ghetto is. So that he can come and join us. Why are you in a ghetto? Because that's where Kate is. That's the area she lives in. Oh, great, cool. Um, <laughs> very cool. No, so, uh, what, we haven't seen Kate since last night? Nope. So, okay, that's why great. we went to her house. Oh, well, good. the area that we think her house is in. Mm -hmm. right, cool. I'm on my way. I guess when you get here, you can try and see if you know where our house is. <laughs> okay, so to get to where they currently are, I will want either you or Tan have to make a wisdom check. I'll do this one. Yeah. I hope I don't screw up, I hope. No. Okay. Uh, I will, <laughs> with, hit, with Tan's assistance, uh, as a constant GPS signal telling you to turn right at the next stop. Uh, you eventually arrive in the ghetto. Good, I arrive at the next stop instead of winding back right where I started because I went right. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? That's very odd. But then again, your character has no sense of direction that we've kind of covered that once before. So it happened I one time! It was one time! <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope you know where she is. I don't know what happened by the end of the session. Oh, he just got lost. And ended up in like 
of the worst ghetto than this. Okay, it was all right. Fine, I wound up in the ghetto and then I wound up in um, a waste disposal facility. <laughs> Not that big a deal. <laughs> oh my god, you're just the worst. Um, I vote you can roll a. Uh, you can either roll a in intelligence check or a uh, a wisdom check to see so you can find which house is hers. So intelligence, you're saying? So intelligence. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you're pretty sure her house is in the building to your left. Somewhere on this third floor. So that is... So it went from thousands of rooms to about 25 rooms on, a, on the third floor. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> right. yeah. I'm assuming we aren't with him. Yeah, no, we'll go. Eight, somewhere in your sheet, mark that you live on the third floor. Of your building. Okay. Can she go ahead and mark down the room number? But not less enough. She can, if she wants. It's room nine 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 three nine 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 nine. There's only twenty five rooms. How is it nine 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 nine? You oh, open a couple doesn't... doors, you wind up in magical <laughs> places. Uh, that's... That's really up to you. Do you want to roll a D1000 and find out? No. 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 Are we with him or not? I'm assuming we're not. Um, yes, he did arrive. So if you oh. go with him, yeah, you are I with him. Yeah, I guided him to us. And then I asked him if he knew where you we were. Alright, well, I'm gonna suggest that we start splitting up and trying to find her home. So, should we roll a D25? <laughs> you all can. Okay. Uh, I've actually already picked my room, like a while ago, so, Jack, you can actually see my room in my character sheet. Uh, so can Leifon, so I would delete that and just... I'm move. not gonna look. Ah! Uh. And none of those rooms were it. <laughs> cool. You guys check three rooms, getting three different results. Each of you roll at me at the 1000. Blood. <laughs> it might be blood. Actually, I think 374 is blood. <laughs> we'll find out in a moment. Okay, 240. Um, <clears throat> Lafon, you find a broom closet. Okay. Is, can I search the broom closet? Yes, you can. Roll into certain realities. Um, you have one question. What do you want to know about this room closet? Um, is there anything of value I can take? No, it's a room closet. Okay, I'm done here. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where you're going. <laughs> oh, okay, um... Maybe someone left a coin in there, I don't know. Tan? You walk into a room consisting of a clown in a chair, and that's it. Sorry, did I miss something? Ten walked into your weird clown what? neighbor and he's just sitting there, staring at him. <laughs> I'll see if he knows where she is. <laughs> he begins idea. miming. <laughs> oh man. Just... Well, if he's not holding up fingers to say number, I guess he doesn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll a, uh, let's say, intelligence check? Because you have no idea what he's trying to do or say right now. <laughs> um, at like some it. point in between the weird hand motions and the gesture and the man walking through the wind routine, you lost track of what you were doing. You gained one experience. Um, you're just going to be sitting here as this guy actually is pretty good at what he's doing. And he just keeps going. So we'll get back to you later. Uh, 761. <laughs> um... Lafon, You are... a clown. And... Eyebolt here just walked into your room. 
You're currently wearing a very happy looking outfit, and your sword seems to glow with rainbows. <laughs> okay, well, we'll back up one second. So <laughs> Tan walked into a clown, and I walked into a clown? Also another clown. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to um, give him a very mischievous grin and I'm going to put my arm around him and pull him further into the room like very, in a very friendly manner. Okay. You go in, I won't. I go first off. Have you seen my car? Your car? Yeah. I might have seen your car. Oh, Why don't you where, come in? I think we can both find your car inside. What is happening? <laughs> I, I don't even know. I am trying to find the car now. You've become secondary. What? Actually, oh. I think I may have seen a car. Alright, no, I'll go in. Okay, uh, you go in. Uh, so, through what a very weird exchange of hand gestures and conversations and something else, <clears throat> roll me a constitution check. You die. Uh, by the end of it, he gives you a box containing an item, uh, and tells you, "Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just put that on. You'll feel better." And then he walks out of the room. Probably ecstasy. <laughs> okay. You have a Can box. I... What do you do with the box? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's basically my character from the other campaign. Yeah, no, I figured that. All right. Okay, I take the box into the hallway, and um, I look. When you go outside, you see that he's completely gone. All right. Yeah, this has been this is <laughs> this is similar to what this has more or less been the week. Don't do it. He's a demon. <laughs> Should I fuck up, Kate? <laughs> you can cut the music now. All right. Uh, I vote. See, your surprise. The room seems to no longer be there. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's great. It's not my evil left. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Technically, so I walk out. Yeah. Okay, so I walk out to the hallway with the box. I look to see if anyone else is back in the hallway. Um, <laughs> I guess. No, so. they're not actually. Am I not? I just got lost in the closet. Yeah, you're like. You you took your turn to search the closet, so I will, wouldn't All see right, you. Okay. Oh, it's still his turn, right? Hmm. Did I at least see which room he went into? Uh, there is an open door if you want to go check it. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk over to the open door. Uh, when you walk to the open door, you see Tan don't walk through it. giggling don't walk through at the at the mime doing his uh thing. <laughs> Tan, Tan, this guy is amazing. Everything you've ever thought of mime <laughs> doing, he did it, but somehow did it so much better and with magic tricks. <laughs> You having a good time in there, buddy? Yeah, won't you join me? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I, I've had enough of clowns for about one day. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> okay. I saw a clown today. That's... So we're 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 done with this for right now. Um, Kane, let's actually bring your character in. What have you been doing this whole time? All right. So what time is it? Uh, it's pushing, like, n almost noon? Somewhere around, like, 10 a.m. in the morning? So, Kane yeah, would've left like his a... house, mm -hmm. and would've gone down to probably the one of the local bars. Okay. So, when you like... arrive at the bar, um, you hear the commotion of a patron having been killed recently. Uh, and they're currently looking for a strange Orion female that was here earlier. Um, they don't so know gonna... who did it, and they don't accuse her of murder, but they're more curious of whether or not she witnessed anything. Alright, so he's gonna like, he's gonna walk over to the bar and stroll up to the guys that are talking about it. Mm -hmm. He's gonna like, plant himself down, like right next to them. Mm -hmm. Like, he's gonna like, cause so he's gonna like kinda like push anybody out of his way that might be there. And he's gonna say, they offer an any kind of reward for it? Um... Find the girl? Yeah. But the cops are offering a small reward. How much? Uh, only like a... Th only, only like a hundred. 
We just not able, can't seem to contact the girls, so they don't know what they're doing right now. Because I've been showering for seven hours. Pretty much. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just gonna kind of nod and like see if there. I'm gonna eye the room, see if there's any like uh, games going on or anything. Um, yes, there is a card game going on. Then I'm gonna go join that card game. Okay, then we'll get back to you later. Kate, All right. you've been in the shower for about four hours. Was you need showering because you feel dirty still. No. Okay. I've spent as much as I can, and I'm just gonna try and forget it. I got a pretty good payout, and I killed him, so I'll never have to do it again. Mm hmm So I'll get out of the shower now. I'm okay with myself. It's good to hear. So, uh, it's your turn. You're free to do as you please. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna get a shower, get dried off, get dressed, and stuff, and then I'm going to Climb look up the people in my door and see if there's anybody out there. Okay, you the people. Um, you see across from you your neighbor, the clown, who's doing his act, and Tana Ivo is just like sitting there laughing at it. So I see Tana Ivo? Yeah, you see them right there. Ivo didn't come back in. I didn't well, even go in the room. Oh. <laughs> And you see Tan. Highbolt seems to not be there. Well, I'm gonna go. Wait, this is weird. And <laughs> I'm gonna just turn and go at the window, and I'm gonna go to Sneasels. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this is the worst possible thing you could do. Yeah, but like, I don't know about this head coming in a box thing, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. So. I I'm still lost in the your... fucking closet. <laughs> I wish you would check your phone. You have like three people calling you. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. hey, you leave to go to Sneasel's, roll me a wisdom check. Yeah, no problem. You you snuck in there like twice already, so no issue. Um, you get there, you arrive. Uh, you notice that there are no guards this time. And the door opens, you go in. Yeah, I go in. Uh, you are asked to wait in the waiting room and... You that seems in a meeting right now, and he'll uh, be ready for for you in about a minute. Okay. Um, what's it like in there? Like, who's all in there? It's like an actual waiting room, like a doctor's okay. waiting room. You know, there's like a person at the counter. Other than that, it's just you sitting in a chair. It's not very comfortable, though. I'm gonna go talk to the person at the counter. You're just sitting there doing your nails. You'd be like, hey girl, what's up? <laughs> uh, she says nothing much. Just in a very like, high pitched tone. So, what's the word around here? Pulls you close and says, I heard that Steve is caught Steve jacking our car, jacking the, like, the planes, cars, whatever those thingies called. And, like, apparently Sneasel had something done to him, but I don't know where he is or what happened. He's in the meeting right oh now with some my. cops, and I don't know, but I think that he, Steve, stole like a bunch of cars because he was always like the uh, he was always that guy who was always sneaking around, you know. Oh dear! Well, that's not good. Hopefully, he's okay. <laughs> you I know, knew you, him quite you're pretty well. sure that he's dead, but this chick doesn't realize. Yeah, well, I'm, you know, playing it. I don't really care about him. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, like, Jesus, well, that's crazy. What's Sneasel in a meeting for? He's in there with the cops right now. Oh. Okay, well, um, got anything good to read? Uh, she, uh, clicks on the Wi-Fi and says you're free to use it. Perfect. Um, um how when you get, the, when the Wi-Fi turns on and you turn on your phone, you get, like, five voicemails. voicemails. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna listen to them and figure out what's going on, and then, um, can I send, uh, I feel like I'm gonna send LaFon a text, mm -hmm. because, like, I know him the best. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. LaFon, tell her the voicemail you left her when you called her earlier. Okay. Um... 
Why the fuck is there a box at my house all of a sudden? You come in here with a client, now I've got a head in a box at my house. I need you to call me right now, because I swear to god, if, if this is related to you, I'm gonna kill someone. Beep. Uh, next call was from Tan. Go ahead, Tan. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Just let me know. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one is from Ivo. Go ahead, man. Okay, this is Ivo. Uh, could you please call me back? I We really do need to talk about this whole sip, ship situation and what we're going to do about it. Beep. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna send a mass text actually to <laughs> Ivo Lafon. Well, Lef Lef Lefon, does he even have a communicator? Um, Lafon, yeah, he does. Um. Okay, so I'll send a text to all three of them, and say I'm working on the ship thing. Uh, I'll meet you guys in like an hour back at Lafon's house. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. got a mass text. All right, so we got that, and you know what? If uh, it's like. Alright, well first, we're gonna get the Barbarian out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I still have no idea what the fuck I'm doing in there. You're, you were searching for gold, which is very <laughs> odd, but you like, were searching for over values. I and I'm just like, What are you looking for? Cleaning products to clean the box? I wanna slap him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... Can I at least attempt to dodge one of these? <laughs> yes, you can. Roll decks. Please. No. Okay. Uh, Levon, <laughs> you roll D4, oh, uh, okay. D2, because he inflicted damage on himself, including do while dodging. Okay, it's a D4, that's a D2. Yeah, but I rolled two D2s, because I already rolled one, so... Okay, uh... So a total of two. <laughs> took two damage, and it's not temporary. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fantastic, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna pin him against the wall and say, Speak to me like that again, and your head's coming off. You can try. <laughs> right, I'm going to um, let him go, and I'm gonna. I'm trying to be really nice because I'm moments away from trying. He's like, If she even wants to have a fight, we can have a fight. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna pull out my communicator because I realize it's fucking beeping. I'm the only person that can realize that for some reason. And see the text. I'm gonna go... Alright. We all need to go back to my house, like, right now. Where, Where's, um... Tan? Still looking at the clown. He's laughing at a clown. He's laughing at a clown. Where is he? I'm pointing, I'm pointing to the door. Right, I'm gonna go over to the door, and I'm gonna grab Tan by, by like, the collar, and I'm gonna pull him out. Okay. <clears throat> Tan, you're being pulled away. Do you still <laughs> want to fight back? You wanna fight back and keep looking at the clown? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the clown go starts playing sad clown music, and as you walk away, he's like the horrible clown with the tears coming down his eyes. I don't have anything for this. You should have just got his phone number. <laughs> that would have worked too. I, to I have a piece of paper. I write down my number and toss it to you. You have phone. a phone. <laughs> okay. You write down a piece of paper and throw it at the clown. He smiles, honks his horn, and goes back into his room. And actually, at this at this point, I'm going I'm going to text or message Kate back, and it's like, could you please tell me? It's like, are you at Smeagol's now? We really should be there as a group. It... I'm just gonna be like, let me deal with this. I'll okay. talk to you in a bit. So we're hopping back to Kate now. Kate, uh, you're still in the waiting room as the cops walk out, smiling and smoking cigars. Okay, first of all, aren't the cops looking for me? They apparently aren't. Okay, that's fine. I'll deal with that whole thing later, I got a lie in mind for it, so... Um... So, can I just go into Sneasel's office? Yeah, the uh, lady seems yeah. to let you in. Okay. Yeah, you arrived! I'm gonna go in. Yeah, you're in there. Okay, uh, Sneasel like... seems to be occupied at the moment, and not looking in your direction. I'm gonna go over to his desk and slam my hands down on it. Hey! You're still here! How can I help you? I'm not still here. I'm here to get my new ship. Well, it's unfortunate. You can't, I can't offer you a ship to go pick up yours. Fortunately, um, we had some incidents recently and all our ships have been in, 
impounded temporarily. I have paid a large chunk of money for somebody to go get my ship, and it's at the garage right now. So you can come see it if you want, but I'm gonna need my new ship. Uh, his jaw drops for a moment. Fine. I still have to see the ship first. He gets up. He says, alright, show me where it is. Okay, so we're gonna go to the garage, I guess? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, on the way out, you see a guy in a mech suit following, following Sneasel as you leave the building. It seems oh, to be his new it? protection. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. It's Are a long there? walk because the mech suit doesn't move exactly the fastest. Oh, okay. Uh, you show it to uh, what's her face's bar? What? Uh, what was it? Lisa's bar? No, not Lisa's. Uh, Lisa's garage. Yeah. Okay. You arrive, sees the sees ship, very upset about it. Uh, roll me a charisma check. Oh no. <laughs> there's, there's no way that this is your ship. Look at this, this is a hunk of junk. Yeah, it's 100% my ship and I'm gonna ask Lisa to confirm it. He's like sitting there biting his nails. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna roll for her. Because technically, she's she telling the- She already gave me a five, so... Yeah. So, like, technically she has plenty of evidence that it is your ship, but if she fails a roll, then that's where it, that's where it goes. <laughs> uh, Cecil oh, is still unconvinced with the mountain of evidence that she has presented. Um... Didn't we put our name on the side of it? It's it's burnt beyond recognition. We would need, uh, I don't know, perhaps the hot main computer that's currently missing from the ship to prove it. Who has that? Tan? Hopefully I one Hopefully one of them actually have, brought it, because if it's left, left on the planet... Yeah, I, I, I have all the ship parts I took out of the ship. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say wait right here, and then I'm gonna call... I vault on the communicator saying, can you come down to Lisa Scratch and bring that hologram thing? Okay, you're all fine. Uh, either someone's gonna have to make a wisdom check to arrive. And so hopefully we can actually bring in Kane in at some point, because he's still sitting at the bar. <laughs> Not hey, just sitting at the bar, he's sitting at the bar playing cards. Nine. Okay. We both got nines. Yeah, well, we don't need the one, but you guys made it. Um, you arrive at the bar. Uh, outside the bar, you see a guy in a gigantic mechanical suit. Hey, let's the fun's going to the bar. Okay, I'm not going to the bar. Um, no, okay. We're going to the, we're going to the Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm actually going to storm in and throw their head at Kate's feet, and I go, Who um, the hell sent me this? That's the worst idea ever. Yeah, I'm a barbarian, though. I don't know who the hell you're talking to. I'm, I'm going to go, What the hell is this? Why, is, why was it delivered to my house? I'm going to be like, We need to deal with this in a second. I'm really sorry for that. I don't know what happened. Right. But, Ivo, can you prove that this is our ship? Okay. And I'll say, you don't sound sincere at all. <laughs> That's fantastic. You see this head shit right here? This is secondary. Anyway, <laughs> Smeagol. <laughs> oh. Computer, to so, the ship. Someone needs to make an intelligence check to uh, authenticate the computer. No, I'm not doing it. I oh, there's only one home. check, I and I suggest whoever has the highest intelligence do it. Uh, it's gonna be ten arrival then. Yeah, yeah I have fifteen. We're tied. We're tied for a score. So, oh, before uh, before I forget, because I didn't mention it just now, but Kate, you technically can do it with a deck check with your hacking device, but if you fail, you risk breaking your hacking device. Well, can I just buy a new hacking device? I believe that's a hundred gold. Welcome to do yeah, so. Yeah, I have. I have like 1200 gold right now. What oh, yeah. the fuck? <laughs> I forgot yeah, about that. Something in yeah, the that's okay. Like I didn't break. Gold. Okay, yeah. Kate, you hook up your hacking device and you spend like a solid couple of minutes or like looking through all the data and you manage to turn the hologram back on. Which, if you guys remember correctly, looks like Tan. And it's just sitting there in a fairly feminine voice, just like system rebooting. Loading, and it just repeats loading, 
for like the next half hour. Um, what like, do you guys do? It's a hundred percent our ship. Give me a new one. Uh, he st he stomps stomps off. Says fine. Come tomorrow night. All the ships are impounded anyway. You can't take one now anywhere. You can't take one until in the morning. I want to make him stop, and I say I want it in writing. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't trust him. Turns around, pulls out his comp pad, and starts typing out some stuff. Uh, it's gonna be a while, because he's literally sitting there, sitting there writing out an entire contract, because he needs to cover his ass this time around. All right. Well, okay, well, they're doing that. I'm gonna, they're, I'm gonna pick up the head, first it on K. I'm gonna go. What the hell does this do at my house? Okay, I'm gonna be like, K. Hey, we're gonna go over here and talk. I'm gonna say, I vote. You keep an eye on him, okay? Fantastic. No problem. Okay. So then, Lafon and I are gonna go into. There is a separate area. Go... Yeah. Can we go into the bar? Cause I know there's like a bar really close. To the <laughs> yes. We're gonna take the head into the bar. No. You have to tell. You have to tell me right now. Why this head is doing at my what this head was doing arrived at my house. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna be like, that is Steve. Uh he works for Sneasel. Um last night Steve uh got me a key for the ship and I went and got our ship back so that we could all have a brand new ship without having to pay money for it. So the reason the head arrived at my house is because of that guy over there. And I point to a sneasel. Yeah, but like you can't do anything about it until we get our new ship, okay? Why? Because then we won't get a new ship. That and there's a giant mech warrior outside the door. Yeah, and yeah, there's I... a giant mech warrior. Okay, you've got twenty four hours to get this new ship, and then I'm going in. That's fine. And I'll shake his hand. I'll shake your right. hand. Okay, I literally walk back over to Sneasel, and I dump the head on his, um, like in front of him, and I go, This is your problem now. He literally doesn't seem yeah. to care, he just throws it aside. Alright, and then, uh, I'm just going to then walk off. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna motion for everyone else to follow me. Well, I'm gonna stay here and get the thing uh, from Sneasel. Uh, I'm not gonna follow you. Well, I'm heading to the bar to pick up a new party member, so I'd really recommend some of you come with me. Yeah, no, I'm gonna come with you as soon as I get the contract, like, I'll meet you there. Okay. Yeah, uh... Right, uh, is he done with the contract yet? Uh, he will be in a moment. He's gonna stick around, he's gonna head up. I'm gonna, gonna... I'll stick around for the contract. I'm sticking around for the contract, cause I'll okay, just go over. Okay, you're around for the contract? Okay, I'll go with Lafon. Okay, cool. Okay, so who's stuck around? I did. Okay. Stick One of you needs to make an intelligence check to make sure you're not currently being cheated out of something. Yes, that's a, that was the plan. I... It's a pass. Uh, I'm gonna say make sure we get the same or better ship than we had before. Yep. According to the paperwork, you are getting something equal or of lesser value than your current ship. No, no, no. Equal. equal greater value than our current ship. Do right, you want to you wanna argue yes, that point? Okay. okay, according to this, I'm... Oh, no, yeah, no, I, I point this out to Tan, because Tan's the one that's good at talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> Shockingly enough, he's, he is... Or what? what is it? What's your charisma? Is your charisma the same as mine? Thirteen. Thirteen? Don't you get a plus one? He has a plus one. Yeah, that means you're better at talking to people than I am. <laughs> Go ahead, Tan. Argue the point. You have to say something and then you can make the die roll. <laughs> hey, what's this all about? Lesser value. <laughs> <coughs> um, he, he basically ignores your argument and continues looking at Ivolt, who's looking at the contract. Okay, Ivolt, you just try it. Go for it. You did. You got okay. one experience, so Ivolt, you're gonna have to do okay. it. Oh, well, charisma, robust. Oh god. Why would so you, you leave and, us? You and him get into a, a lengthy conversation, but um, you are unable to convince him into doing it. And at this point, he's trying to slowly convince you to sign the contract. Um, what do you want to do? 
You guys could always call me back. Just saying. No, we're we're definitely calling you back. It was like I'm not. It's like I'm not gonna have this happen just for him to give me a ship that uh, you already gave me a ship that didn't work. I'm not getting another ship that doesn't okay. work. He says, "All right, why don't you go get your your uh, your captain there and we'll get we'll get this going." Just call me, and, I'll and then he walk he walks you out the door. You can't walk me out of the door. This isn't your garage. Okay, well, he's asking, <laughs> aren't you going to go get your captain? I'm getting my captain. He's, my captain's going to come back. The bar is right across the street. Don't go anywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. No, just one of you do it. I will just call her. Yes, no, that's but we should keep an eye on this slimy thing. Okay, yes, roll an intelligence check. Why do we have to make an intelligence check to call? <laughs> <laughs> because there's still a chance of you guys critically failing. Breaking the phone. Because well, more like critically failing. Yeah. You would drop phones all the time. <laughs> okay, Kate, you get your phone call. Okay, I say to Lafon, I'm sorry, but I'll be right back. Okay, you head back across the street, <laughs> and you see Sneasel there trying to convince Ivo to walk outside. I'm gonna walk right up to Sneasel and get in his face, but I'm not gonna touch him because I don't want his mech robot to be activated. Mech robot's watching, but, but he say... doesn't seem to like load his guns or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna say, what <clears throat> do you think you are doing, you little weasel? What do you mean? I was simply trying to get your friend here to go get you. We can discuss our contract. Okay, what's in the contract? Uh, you look at the contract. The contract is that we'll get, we can he is possible, we'll get a worse ship. Okay, no, 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 no. We're gonna get a better ship, or equal value, and there better be nothing wrong with it, or I'm sending you the bill. Okay, well, you charisma check. Damn! Nice, nice one. Oh, for, finally, I failed to roll, so I can raise this. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been waiting Kate, to fail forever. <laughs> you managed to commit. You managed to argue the fact, argue the fact, and he changes it to equal or greater value of your current vessel. Okay, and um, uh, what else is in the contract? That? Because our current vessel would be worth crap right now. Okay, I'm gonna take the contract. <laughs> you just <don't> know that <laughs> I'm loving that you guys are actually catching on to these things. Okay. I'm gonna take that contract and I'm gonna go find a lawyer and I'll be like, okay, I'll have this signed by tomorrow or or we'll go over some more details. All right. I'm gonna take it to my lawyer. I, I wouldn't even have taken it to a lawyer. I would have just changed all the words that we have problems with the things we like. No, I'm gonna be like, here's your copy, I'm taking my copy. The issue there copy. is to do that, you would require another intelligence check, and you guys haven't been passing those, have you? I've, I've passed an intelligence check. passed the check. phone checks, <laughs> but not the uh, contract checks. Um, at this point, Steve is already leaving. Okay, so do I roll an intelligence Steve check? Steve is leaving? Lawyer? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sneasel. Sneasel is already leaving. But yeah, you, roll can, a, you can in fact contact a lawyer. By intelligence? Uh, intelligence? Yes. Okay. Making a phone call. Oh, you are unable to Google a phone number. Or a lawyer. Okay. I'm gonna I... ask Chandler Ivo to do it, because my intelligence is actually really low. Okay. Okay, Charles, you... You eventually find a lawyer. It's a little more sketchy. But it is a lawyer. Kane, your phone rings. You're now a lawyer. Because... I'm getting tired of your character not showing up. Well, I keep- I tried to go over the bar. <laughs> I know, right? Well, you know, the Lafon best of the part doesn't seem to care about a new player. Okay, Lafon's in the bar. Lafon can talk to Kane. No, I'm, I'm fine with this. Nate, you're now- you're now a lawyer. Okay? I'm, I'm legal. So lawyer. <laughs> legal advocate is what I'm listed as. Yes. You, but, uh, your phone then, rings. Lawyer. Wait, wait, wait. Is legal in quotation marks? Yes. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I... It was kind of sketchy to begin with. I don't like anything. Can we please get this over with? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Let's just do it. Let's get it done. Okay, Nate, you get a phone call asking you to take a look at some paperwork. You all arrive at the bar. Nate, you need 
hopefully to crit an intelligence check. Ah, uh, alright. I don't think I have any bonuses for my intelligence, let me check real fast. Um, nope, too fat, no. So here we go. Hmm, the roll. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, it's a pass. Yes! <clears throat> it's a pass, guys. Um, yeah, so you Early. look over the paperwork. There's definitely some issues here and there. Because you're a lawyer, you're getting a slight buff to this. So, um, it definitely notes that it's current ship, which means that as is right now, your current ship is a little burnt up scrap metal in the garage. So the value is almost nothing. Uh, so regardless of what you were arguing earlier, you would got nothing for it. Uh, but <gasps> with a few changes to the contract, it debates that it is in relation to the ship at the point we at which purchased. you purchased. Yes. Uh, oh, so, uh, equal that. or greater value than that. Uh, okay. so there you go, Nate. You're, you're done. Um, does lawyer require any <clears throat> compensation for his, uh, work? Uh, well, as a notary, that, that is 75. 75? Okay, I'll pay you 75 gold. Uh, alright. Nate, you can argue for more, but 75 is, is the, uh, like, yeah. the normal Do you want 75? Rate. I can give you... 75 and a handy. Uh, I'll take the 75. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah. So add 75 gold to your case of shooting. Wait, 75 or 25? 75. 75. Okay. Uh, Nate, right. um, technically speaking, you are qualified to be a notary, but not a lawyer, but you're avoiding that conversation with these guys. Well, that's fine. We figured out what we needed to. Mm -hmm. um, um, I would like to say, hey, dude, since you, uh, is your character's name Kane or Nate? Kane. Okay. We were like, hey, Kane, um, we could really use somebody with, uh, your smarts and skills. Would you like to join our party and, uh, help us take over the galaxy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was just like, I just stare at her incredulously. I just, just say that in the middle of a average. large bar. It it depends if you can if you can afford my going rate. What? Okay, nobody's affording anything. We take on quests for money. If you want to help out with that, you can. If not, it's up to you. We split everything evenly, and that's the way it goes. Alright, well, shit. No one told us. No one told us what happened earlier. Now you will. Alright. Okay. And this is a great closing point as we take a short break before we come back. Alright. Actually, uh, aren't we stopping because there's no point?